Hello and welcome to Fiona's Creative Canvas. I'm Fiona and today we're working on swipes again. Uh, I'm working on a 14 by 18 canvas which is 35 by 45 centimeters and we're going for a portrait style beach scene with the ocean at the top and the sand or the beach at the bottom. So I'm going to go along the similar lines than what I did the other day. Probably want more ocean this time though. Now this is quite thick, so I am a little concerned about uh, tilting and And the flow of the paint. I'm not sure if I've got enough there. It's really difficult because because I've done so much um, more. Sorry, so so much thicker. I don't know. I just uh, I just don't know how it's going to go. But I'm trying to learn. Which I've probably said a thousand times. No, not a thousand times. I don't have a thousand videos, <laughs> so yeah, we'll just see how we go. can always add some white around the edges to help tilt, I guess. So I'm laying down this base and then I'm going to put the colours over top. And the reason I put this blue at the top is day 15 of my 30 day challenge that I did at the very start of my journey. Um, I had, I did a, a, a beach scene and there was white in the top corner and it just didn't look right. All right, let's get some colors down. I want to start in the blue area or the sandy area. I'll go sandy area. Might do the dark colour first actually. Go from dark to light. Okay. That's just just a hint of that. You may get tipped off. This is more of a goldy colour. This is the uh, yellow okra. And this is titanium buff, just got a bit more of a creaminess to it. So I'll spread that a bit further. Might take that okra a little bit through here as well, I think. And then I've got my metallic sand. which is the only metallic I'm using. All right, that looks good. Now we might work the other way and do the dark at the top. And I've got so that's a Harbour Night. This is Phalo Blue. Oop. This is too thick, I think. Hmm. A little bit more water in this bottle. Um, the base blue there is King's Blue by Amsterdam. this through. It's better. Um, and then this is cobalt, cobalt, cobalt hue. I 
send that all the way through that. I think that's a semi-transparent. Oh, nearly forgot my... This one's called Harbour Blue. Send that all the way through. Give it that sea green colour. And then we've got the turquoise. Alright, do I want to send some more of this one through? Oh! That's the problem with having the lid attached. All right. What I'm going to do now is uh, get these a bit of a mix. Start down here. Okay, now we're going to swipe. Now, should I go to big, big tool for this? Yeah. I think I just put a little bit of blue through that going down the bottom so um. Oop. mess Actually, I know what I was going to do. Um, so I keep going with the same tool. I was going to try using something a little different. Maybe I could use this and just on a small section just to see. I just want to see what it does. And this is sort of a whitish area, so.
It only seemed to work there at the start. So, all right, I'm gonna go back to this tool. to fix some stuff through here. up the uh, using a bit of the swipe just trying to uh, give it a bit of the ocean a bit more movement As it comes crashing down, uh, don't know whether this will create any cells or not using this white mix or lacing. Do a little bit through here because I'm not sure about that bit. The lacing hasn't worked very well through the ocean colours. Now the ocean colours are mostly a different brand of paint. So I do wonder that has something to do with it. That looks interesting. I might continue to do a bit of this through.
Okay, here it is wet. I'll take you through it first and then um, I'll discuss what I think's going on. So down here we have some beautiful lacing. Of course I'll show you when it's dry as well because we'll get rid of the reflection. Uh, over here I quite like this little mix. I don't know why, I just do. And so we've got the turquoise going through here. Then up in the corner here, it's a bit darker, using some darker paints. And it just kind of flows. Yeah. So the best lacing is down here. And that's very eye-catching. Now this is on house paint. In the blue, I've used um, a lot of this brand of paint, which I know is probably a bit more, sort of probably in between maybe a craft and a student. I'm not really sure. It's Maybe, maybe it's a craft paint. If you know, let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm wondering if that's why it's not working very well up here where I've swiped it through. Didn't wasn't too bad here. And that turquoise is also the same brand. But yeah, no, not really. It's not great. Um, the colours of that brand are very lovely, but for swiping. I can't believe this is house paint and that's where it's worked the best that's really interesting I wonder if I should dig out all my house paints or what I might do for the next one is only use uh, either Liquitex, Liquitex Basics or uh, Amsterdam I think they're the two better quality paints that I have. Yeah, I mean, I, I wouldn't say that house paints, I, I don't know what, what sort of quality house paint is, but it's clearly working on the house paint. And you know, the thickness of these paints were all reasonably similar. I'll, uh, anyway, I'll bring you back in when it's dry. Okay, here is the dried result. Um, got a little bit of metallic sand through here. And um, it's pretty much dried the way it was wet, you know, just a fraction darker. I'm just giving you a bit of a closer look. Now, while I'm showing you this, I don't know if you noticed, but this is actually on my new desk setup, uh, which I've recorded all the video for. I've got one more piece to show you uh, on the old setup, and then um, I'll do the video of putting together this new studio. Look at that lacing. Hmm, I just can't get over the house paint. I'm going to have to experiment. I haven't yet. So I really like this bit through here too. I don't know if it's the colour or just, yeah, pretty. Okay, so that's another beach swipe um what did i learn i'm not really sure i think it was possibly too thick maybe it's the colors the the brand so yeah the next video i will do uh liquitex basics in amsterdam and see if that makes a difference and uh that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one